Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with another live video, and uh, this is the end of the war. I wanted to record the last 10 minutes. I just did my attacks, so this is the earliest I could really do anything, and uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and just show all the attacks that are going on, even on our own bases, because it's a you know, arranged war that's being streamed anyway, so showing the own, our own base is probably okay. Uh, this one's actually a dip, so let's not take a look at that. I am being attacked, as you saw at the beginning here, and uh, unfortunately it's full. I don't know what's going on. Uh, looks like the number three is dipping down on me, and the number four is dipping all the way down that Town Hall 9. Um, while I can, a little bit of background on this war uh, as we wait for the next attack, and trust me, I'm going to be quick. I'm going to make sure we uh, get into all the live attacks that uh, from now on. But anyway, a little bit of background on this war. Uh, both sides really had trouble with the Town Hall 9s for whatever reason. Uh, a lot of Town Hall, mo both my attacks were dipping down to take out Town Hall 9s uh, and uh, we've had a few more than that. There was uh, quite a few on both sides where uh, we had to dip down. You can see they're still not completely cleared. I think that should be the last one for them. Uh, we still have one, two, two left. Uh, we both have three attacks left. They're using uh, two of their three right now. Uh, we'll see how this ends up going. I don't like my chance. Oh, everyone's already out anyway, so I guess it's been decided. And, uh, wow, this was a defense for me. Nice. Uh, people were pumped up. Yeah, this guy dipped down, but he did not get me. He's not going to. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at that at the end of the war. I don't want to uh, compromise the live action for watching a replay of my own base, even though that was pretty awesome. So we'll go ahead and give a woo and uh, hopefully get into an attack for you guys. We still have... Uh, a few left for us. You're probably going to see an attack on number seven, and uh, there might be a few bully attacks, but we'll just see how it goes. We got seven minutes left, um, and we'll just wait and see what attacks we can find. But I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse into the end of this war because it's pretty crazy. I know people are streaming it, and uh, yeah, it didn't even actually get close on my base. That's awesome. 72%. Uh, only the two stars. So, like I said, it's tied up 79-79. Um, I think this attack is still going on. Maybe we can get in. Uh, I assume it's going to be a three star. It would be very weird for it not to be, considering it's number four going all the way down for 23. But like I said, both sides really struggle with Town Hall 9s, so it became a game of dipping down, uh, just seeing how many uh, dips were needed to go down there with our 10s and get the 9s three starred. And then as far as what happened up top here, which is where it matters the most, uh, they did get the three star on Pendragon, but uh, they're pretty short on attacks. They're gonna probably have, so they have one attack left that has to be for Boom Shakalaka, and uh, they'll end up, looks like that was a three star, so they'll, they'll end up um, leaving that one starred, and that'll kind of cancel out their three star, because we got both of these two starred. Uh, we do have the one star here, which does sting, so for our attacks, we have three left, and we have to probably win by a star here because the percentage looks like it's in their favor. Uh, yeah, definitely in their favor, actually, especially with that three star. That helps a lot. So the percentage is in their favor, which is why, like I said, we'll probably have to get up to 83 because they'll get another two stars here. Their last attack is a Town Hall 11. Hopefully this doesn't go for a three star. That would, uh, that would be rough. I don't know if we can match that. But we do have three attacks. We should get at least another star there. Um, probably, I'd hope for a three star if one of our top guys takes this out. So that's probably four. And then uh, taking out this Town Hall 9 should make it five. But it should get us up to 84. So even if they three star Boom Shakalaka, we should be able to get the win here. This is going to be exciting. And uh, I might show a few replays because we probably won't be able to catch everything live. Uh, probably one attack to be honest and then we'll go back and see how it went but anyway this is going to be another live uh on war day video just because uh this is live at the end of the war and i really wish i could have recorded attack sooner but the problem was everything got pushed back with the nines not uh clearing out all the other nines so i was forced to kind of save my attacks a little later than i planned on which is why i didn't have much time to record because i was planning my own attacks which were both uh, dips and luckily both were went for three stars even though they were a little bit ugly so here we go four minutes and 30 seconds uh, looks like everyone is waiting to pounce on a live attack so I'm gonna have to actually be really quick here I'm actually worried to open the chat because that might screw up uh, 
tapping on the watch live button quick enough, but um, as long as we're waiting, I'll just go through the bases one more time. Uh, we are we gonna leave one town hall nine? Yeah, we we actually we might because the thing for our strategy, these are both pretty much guaranteed. Because uh, I think we have all we have a town hall t eleven, town hall ten, town hall ten. So we have two guaranteed stars down there if we want to attack there. But we have to think that also uh, we have to attack here and go for three. Then the issue becomes right here. Let me just scout real quick, see how good of a base it is. That's a pretty hard base even for an 11 to 3 star. So it's a bit of an issue here because we are probably going to automatically attack 7 and automatically attack one of the Town Hall 9s. But the issue becomes, do we attack this base, go for the 2 slash 3 stars, or do we attack the other 9, get the safe th uh, get the safe extra star uh, because this would have potential to get us an extra star but we might not need it because just doing the math here they have uh, one attack left that can get them a maximum of 83 stars and that makes us have to get 84 meaning we have to get another uh, five stars which we should be able to take a look at the space real quick uh, seven we should be able to if we spend our 11 attack on oh here we go Wow, that was quick. Oh, I'm in. I am in. Uh, do we want to watch this one as our live one? This is going to be a dip attack, going to be an easy three, so i got to be patient here. We're not going to watch Pendragon. Hopefully that takes away a few people that would be competing for the other attacks that are going to happen. Uh, so that should be a pretty guaranteed three star there uh, for Pendragon down there. But uh, like I said, that's one star. If we can get three from here, we really need, only need one additional star. But if we only get two from here, then we're going to need another two additional stars, which could only come from attacking number four, not from attacking the other Town Hall 9. Uh, boom shakalaka, that's full. Okay, we're going to get one of our... These guys just must be on sitting and camping out. We're going to get one of our uh, higher up attacks, probably the one on seven. Actually, I'm just going to sit here and watch base seven for the next two minutes with my finger right below the little base icon and uh, that way there's physically no way I would not get into the attack. We're gonna see how it goes down on seven, because this is actually a pretty pivotal base. If we get the three star here, uh, that would make the, uh, pretty much, I think, secure our win. If it's a two star, then it's gonna be a lot closer. I'm not sure what the outcome would end up being, but uh, remember they would still, this is all assuming they get the three star in Boom Shakalaka, and uh, with the Town Hall 11 bowlers, you guys might have seen a few attacks. You'll probably see a few in the recap of this war. With those uh, bowler attacks, they are pretty reliable for getting the three star. Just using mass bowlers, funneling them into the center of the base, using healers, freezes, uh, rages, all that stuff. So uh, once again, assuming they get that three star, seven is going to be a pretty pivotal base. I'm assuming one of our 11s is attacking it, so I'm just going to go ahead and sit back, wait. And uh, I know we've had a long, like, 10 minutes of no attacks, but uh, a lot of talking, so uh, I'll put in like the description, you can fast forward to the attacks here or something, but uh, you guys are getting a taste of the live action and really how hard it is to get into one of these uh, live battles, so uh, wait in here, minimum or maximum of 45 seconds, we'll be in here, okay, here we go, uh, smash that, we got a mass bowler attack, this is going to be a pretty pivotal attack, and remember, their number, I think, uh, one of their high level guys tried a mass bowler on me and failed and my base is about the same level as this base so this easily could be a fail if he doesn't uh, perf perform all the uh, parts of the attack right but anyway looks good right here uh, create a nice funnel with the bowlers at the bottom and the queen at the top uh, those healers will probably end up going onto the bowlers which will be just fine once everything meets up but the bowlers did a great job creating the funnel at the bottom they're actually taking out a few more trash buildings. There's the golem, a few wall breakers, everything going into the base. The funnel created perfectly. Just a huge spam of bowlers. That warden, which is going to be very uh, important to keeping these bowlers up with that eternal tomb. Just a huge sea of bowlers in there. Uh, there goes the CT troops. Has to make sure that balloon doesn't do too much damage. Uh, pops the eternal uh, tome. I'm, I, people say you call it eternal tome. Uh, pops that. The bowlers are healthy for a while. Doesn't have any freezes, so the infernos will start doing work, but that they're already down by now. This is crazy. Uh, that has that next rage. The bowlers just tearing through the space. Uh, the queen is up, shooting things down. Bowlers everywhere. This is crazy. Uh, yeah, this is going to be an easy three star. We might as well almost back out, uh, but we'll wait for just the last few things to go down, or at least 
the majority of things to go down. There are a few giant bombs going off, but no, this is over. Those level three bowlers are pretty OP, so we'll go ahead and back out here. Uh, Confident, that was a three star. And then we'll uh, take a look at what else we can. Uh, we got a, another, yeah, we're going on that Town Hall 9 again, so that's the attack. That's going to be a three star, and oh, it looks like they only got two stars right there, so that's going to be a win for us. Uh, really intense end of the war. Let's see what we want to take a look at. Uh, we could take a lot, lot, take a look at a lot of different things. Um, let's take a look at my defense. Actually, I'm curious as to what happened because this guy is a 40-40 Town Hall 10 taken on my base with uh, a, a mass bowler attack. But they are level two bowlers because he's only a Town Hall 10. But still, that's a pretty powerful army, and I want to see what actually happened. Then we'll take a look at one more attack and probably wrap this thing up. Uh, I wish I could have got more live action because this is a live, uh, live on War Day video. But it is what it is. It's hard to get this. And uh, at least I was able to get that one live attack for you guys, even though it was a pretty short spam attack. But anyway, uh, taking a look at what he did here, we'll go ahead and go times two just so we can uh, keep the video relatively short because there was so much uh, dead time at the beginning. But he went ahead and went with that queen walk. Uh, that was a, you know, a solid queen walk. It's getting a few defenses taken out. Uh, there are a few point defense on her right here, but I think she's going to be able to survive without any kind of help. Uh, we're actually right here she's going to need like the ability or something there goes the ability here go the bowlers I guess he's basically entering from the bottom here but the funnel's not that great and yeah you can see a lot of the bowlers are going to go on a walk here around the base some are going inside the base though uh, there's the inferno I have my golem and my balloon in here the golem looks like it'll get pretty up and close with those bowlers and then the balloon and the inferno I think that combination does did a lot of damage to the bowlers uh, there are the little group going around the outside which doesn't help him either there's that jump to let everything keep going because I have all those little walls in there to mess people up. And it looks like just the bowlers ran out of juice. Having all the all of his bowlers in the middle might have made the difference, but it was a pretty undersized kill squad going into the base and uh, had a little bit of trouble getting through the, the meat of my base right in the middle there. So it looks like it, we kind of left off or we joined in with the attack right here just as that king goes down and all these bowlers run around the outside. So anyway, uh, that was my defense. There's the war, guys. Uh, everyone is pumped up what an intense finish 83 to 82 um, oh it looks like we actually failed a dip attack okay so that could have been that could have been crazy close I don't know what he was thinking he might have thought he lost us the war as he was attacking but uh, luckily the attack over here went for a two star not a three star so that uh, allowed his fail to not destroy us but anyway uh, yeah everyone's going crazy in discord and everything uh, we'll take a look at one more of the pivotal attacks. Let me just see which one. We looked at VF though. We could. Let's take a look at. Um, let's take a look at another Town Hall 11 attack that went for two stars. I want to show a little more of this mass bowler stuff because it's not something we've seen on the channel yet. And uh, this had a warden walk on it actually, which is just insane. I've never seen that before. Uh, we're looking at Hua Hong Zhang. Uh, and looks like a surprise Tesla right there as well. As you guys know, we couldn't do any scout attacks because we were so pressed on attacks, uh, didn't have any to spare. So this is most likely a uh, fresh hit. And you can see Pops the Warden's ability there actually, which I'm not sure what that was for. I'm not Maybe the Warden was getting low or something, but he had all the healers on him. So kind of a weird little deal there because that uh, the Warden's ability is so powerful when he has all those bowlers in his range. So it doesn't get the benefit of that and that uh, the healers are staying back on the warden and not on the bowler. Okay, right there they get on the bowlers. So that does help. Also has the heal spell there. Uh, the eagle artillery looks like it went down pretty quickly. And uh, they actually made a hole in the wall and started moving through. So everything looked like it was going pretty well. There's the freeze. Uh, there's the, uh, the inferno going down. So everything looked like it was going very, very well. But I think just getting surrounded from every side, all those high level walls in there. Uh, things start to slowly go down and uh, there's a little bit of distance between the core of that base and all those defenses so uh, being targeted from every side there's the queen I okay I think he dropped the warden by accident instead of the queen there because uh, yeah I can pretty much say for certain that's what happened here taking a look at it and then he forgot about his queen so that really does suck had he you know had the warden's ability for the all right, speaking of things that suck, I actually lost the end of that recording. There wasn't much there. The attack was pretty much over. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this thing up. It was a 
uh, fun end of this war, definitely exciting, against Dark Looters Z. You guys might remember we uh, went against a Dark Looters clan, I made a ton of videos on that war uh, a little while back, a few months, four or five months ago, I don't know, but uh, that was a little while back. Now, uh, I went against this clan, they had a very, uh, or they put up a very good fight. Honestly though, this was probably one of the worst wars uh, Genesis has had since I've been in it. Just uh, everything kind of went wrong for us, and not sure exactly why, but uh, a lot of nines left uncleared. So it does happen, you know, happens to every clan, they have those wars. But luckily, uh, it didn't hurt us too much. Dark Looters, I guess, kind of had the same thing going on with uh, our Town Hall nines. Just kind of an all-around uh, sloppy war by both sides, but uh, sometimes winning is sloppy. So anyway, I went through the bases one more time, and uh, you'll see that as far as the 11s go, uh, we got uh, both the 11s two star. They that's where the one star, uh, the difference I guess you could say was. Although they did get our one town hall uh, ten three starred, but uh, they all the way down to eight is just left. Uh, two we got we got six seven and eight three starred. Uh, no, they didn't three star any of our low town hall nine or any of our low town hall tens which I think was probably the biggest difference because that got us three stars right there above them. So even though, uh, and then the fourth star coming from that Town Hall 11 being left one starred, and then even though uh, they did get the three star there on Pendragon and we left uh, a one star on one of their tens, we still uh, had the difference. They did have percentage though, you can see right there, uh, 93 to 95. So. They had us pretty solid on percentage, and also we did leave this one nine uh, two star, which makes up for that fourth star uh, that we left, kind of, I guess you could say. But they left five stars on the board, so anyway, uh, not the best war, but we got it done. So good job to the people that were uh, coming up clutch for Genesis, and uh, good war to Dark Looter Z. It was fun. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Not a lot of attacks, I know, but uh, if nothing else, hope you enjoyed being around, uh, watching the end of the war live, and seeing kind of what it's like in Genesis when that's going on. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.